What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome back to my rise to fame. So here we are now, halfway through the season with Wuhan, our second year in charge. Um, nothing to really talk about on our screen right now. Um, you know, you can just, you can see there my stats and stuff. I'm not sure if things are growing. I can't really remember too much from when I last saw you. I mean, I'm not, I don't check this page every, you know, game or whatever and see what's gone up and down. But yeah, let's, let's go into our season with Wuhan. So... Let me go into my transfers quickly, because I don't think there were any transfers when, since I last saw you. Um, no, no, there have been no transfers in. There has been one transfer out, and it was Yang Teo has left to A. Urban for uh, 500 and... Uh, sorry. No, yeah, 59. I was going to say 500. Sorry. 59k. So, quite a, quite a decent fee to pick up for a player that, um, you know, we spent 75k on when we joined. You know, that wasn't... You know, of course, of course, we haven't recuperated the money we've spent on him. But when you look at the performances he put in for us, you know, we were going to be lucky to get that money back out of him. So, I'm happy with that. You know, I'm happy with the fee we picked up for a player that, like I said, look at him. You know, he didn't play well for us and he's given us money we can go spend and invest elsewhere. So, he's gone to a Urban. But that's the only other transfer to talk about. I think you already knew about Peng when I last saw you. I believe, yeah, you did. You definitely did. So, yeah, let's go into the league table and I think the best way to go into the league table from here is to go on competitions. So currently we find ourselves bottom of the table. I mean yet yeah, it's been it's been hard this year, it really has. But if we want to look at any positives, you know, if there is a positive of being bottom of the table, it would be, you know, the gap above us is non existent. Currently there is no gap separating us and the team in 14th place you know in fact what how does this league go i think it i don't know exactly why it's ordered the way it is let's have a look um league sorted by results between teams so the only reason we're bottom of the table is because we've not picked up the best results against the teams above us so um i imagine we lost to yiteng maybe if we've played them this yeah we should have played them this year so i can't quite remember the results sorry we'll go through them anyway in a second anyway but yeah you know we find ourselves bottom of the table on you know, certain things and situations happening. And even then, you know, we're only three points off the team in 12th. So, you know, it's it's still, it's not like we're in a dire position. I mean, we're not in a good position. Let's put it that way. We're not in, you know, it's it's still pretty bad. You know, being bottom of the table, no matter how you're bottom of the table, it's still a bad thing. It still has a negative impact on your side. So we want to try and turn this around very quickly. But to me, it's strange that, you know, last year we put in a really good first half of the season. Second half of the year, we collapsed. This year, we're just not pulling in good performances anyway. You know, anywhere. So it's just a worry. But, you know, we've got people returning. You know, Leon Best, who I, you know, last time I showed you, he picked up a very lengthy injury. He's just now starting to come back. So hopefully Best can get in, the, in uh, under... We get back into scoring, let's say, and um, let's hope that we can get a, better, a few better defenders in this transfer window. Because as you can see, actually, if we're going to goal scored, we actually score enough goals to contribute ourselves as actually the fifth, fifth best team in the league. Look at that. So you know we can we can hold us we can hold our own going forward. It's just defensively, we can't. And clearly, we score goals in games where we you know we're outscored. But we don't score, you know, so like we're scoring goals, but not in the right games. If we can win a game 2-0, 3-0, that's great. But if we're losing the game 3-2, you know, 4-3, then, then the goals conceding is affecting us. Okay, we could get hammered every now and again, but I'd rather that than get hammered, you know, or me, or me and, or I should say, concede a lot of goals and score a lot of goals as well. So, yeah, it's not great. But let's go into the fixtures because that will tell us a better story. So... You left. I left you off four games into the league season. I believe you saw Yong Chang La as the uh, last fixture. So after that, we played Chang Chun and we drew 1-1 with them. Despite them getting a second minute lead, we did equalize back up with Chok Wing in the 58th minute. Uh, actually, if I go on to this, you got to get the goal scorers up. That's and let me just um, auto size all columns. There you go, a little bit nicer looking. So after that, we played fully next, and we lost 1-0. 86th minute goal, costing us one point there. And that would have been a point, of course, which would have put us all the way up into... Um, or that put us 14th, you know, out of the relegation zone. That's, that's the five margins we're currently playing on right now. So, yeah, that was... Um, that was disappointing that we couldn't hold out there that extra few minutes and just get a point. Uh, because, as you can see, from that point, we actually weren't doing too badly. You know, we're picking up points. We were chugging along. Uh, that defeat sort of halted our progress. 
After that, we lost 4-2 to Rene. Now, Rene are top of the table, so I want you to bear that in mind because it is a hefty defeat. And, you know, it is obviously, it's never nice to lose by conceding four goals. And really, we only got a goal, one goal back because it was an own goal. But, um, and in fact, we took the lead. Look, I completely forgot about that. We took the lead. So, you know, it's never good to see a team lose when you lose like this when you take the lead. But, um, like I say, they are top of the table. So, if anything, you'd expect to lose by this margin when you're top versus bottom. I mean, at the time, it wasn't like that. But, you know, looking back at it from now, you can see that, you know, there's obviously going to be a golf in quality between the two sides. After that, we've got a draw against Shangdong, a 91st minute equaliser from Yo Man Ki, getting us the goal, uh, getting us the point there in a fortunate game. After that, we played Hangzhou and we lost 4-1. This was an abysmal game, one you know, one that we definitely wanted to move on as quick as we could. We got a man sent off, Zheng Tao, who's no longer, of course, our player. We had a shocking performance from Jin Pengzek Lang. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. He had an absolutely abysmal game. I mean, you got to feel sorry for him. Five, four point six, not even five. Sorry, four point six. As you can see, one player tore him apart, and it was um, Rod, uh, Rodi. Guineo? I'm not really sure to pronounce that. But yeah, he tore him apart and he couldn't handle it. We got a late consolation goal, but, you know, that doesn't mean anything come the end of the day. So, yeah, hangs out absolutely smashing us and embarrassing us. But it looked like we could have turned it around. You know, it looked like we'd finally hit some good run of form. It started off with a 3-0 victory over A. Urban, um, Man Ki, Chongqi and Jun Bin, getting us the three goals there in, a in our first comfortable victory since... The uh, oh, I should say our first victory as a whole since the one in April. So we'd waited over a month to get our next victory. And that's obviously way too long when you consider the amount of games we actually played in that time spell. After that, though, continued our good run of form, getting a 5-1 win over Dongya. Very good result. Another good performance. Two penalties did help us on our way. They gave us the sort of push start we needed. Uh, Dongya did equalize after we scored from a third-minute penalty. But like I say, that... Um, that penalty in the 38th minute plus long scoring in the 36th gave us a two-goal cushion that we could just relax and sit on for the rest of the game. Yo, uh, Yo Man Ki did get two late goals for us, um, which just made things a lot worse for Dongya. But good performance from the lads and, you know, we were on a good run of form. Two wins in a row for the first time this season. After that, we then got a very good draw against Guangzhou. And, of course, everyone knows Guangzhou's quality. I mean, they're probably one of the only Chinese team you would know off the top of your head if you hadn't managed or watched it or, you know, were associated in, in, in it with some way. So, you know, Yo Man Ki put us underway when a 31st minute goal. They then equalized uh, moments later. Same person, Ibrahim, scored in the 59th minute to give Guangzhou the lead before a 69th minute penalty and our third penalty in two games gave us a um, earned us the point. And as you can see by the match stats, Guangzhou probably deserved a lot more out of the game. So, you know, it, it was a fortunate match for us uh, to get the point, but that was a good point. And like I say, we were on a good run. We were on a decent run of form from that point. You know, if we go from the Shandong draw, you know, we'd picked up, what would that have been? Well, uh, three, six, seven, eight, eight points out of a possible fifteen. So you know that's that's pretty good. I don't know why I didn't do three times five. I was adding it up in my head. <laughs> After that, we drew on one with uh, Leoning. I think it is pronounced. Uh, Yo Man Ki again. You you've seen his name come up quite a lot so far this uh, season. Yeah, he got us a late draw there with uh, scoring in the 79th minute after they got a very early lead in the eighth minute. And as you can see, it was an evenly fought match. So I'd say it was a draw that we deserved, and it's good that we actually got it. Then we entered the Chinese FA Cup following that, winning three 0 very comfortable victory. Then our bad run of form came back. Yiteng, we lost 3-1 to them, and bear in mind, you know, Yiteng are a team just above us in the table, so to lose by that margin is quite embarrassing. Leon Best, as you can see, returning here for his first game since coming back from injury. Um, he did miss a penalty in the 21st minute, and of course, that can change a game. You know, they scored in the 7th, which means we were down... Uh, if he scores that penalty, we're back at 1-1. Maybe with the team with the momentum. You know, the team have got a goal. The morale's going to be up. I mean, it's already pretty sky high. Where then maybe we can push on and win the game. But he doesn't score that penalty. It allows them to score two more. Well, he doesn't allow them. But they then go on to score two more before halftime. So it's looking game over by halftime, 3-0. Uh, Leon Best does get one back. But like I said, it's going to be a consolation. And he got a pretty poor rating in this game, which quite annoyed, which annoyed me quite a bit. I mean, he was missing a few chances here and there. And he did miss the penalty, which of course affects it. But he did end up scoring. So I don't know. Why his rating was that bad. Uh, following that, we played Shanhei and we 
Drew 1-1 in the league. And Leon Best scoring in the fourth minute, getting the rebound from his second penalty miss in as many games. We did end up scoring an own goal in the 72nd minute as Shanghai pulled on the pressure near the end of the game, trying to look for a equalizing goal. And like I said, we caved under it and ended up scoring the goal ourselves. But um, yeah, this was disappointing. I thought this was a game we should have won. Um, despite the match facts looking pretty even, you know, we were playing better out of the two. And Leon Best had a pretty shocking game yet again, as you can see, 6.2. I don't really understand why. I mean, he did, again, he missed a few chances here and there, but his rating was abysmal. Um, moving on into the CFA Cup fourth round, we lost 2-1 to the team we just drew previously. So that was really frustrating. Uh, they scored in the first minute to get themselves underway. And um, we did equalize just before halftime in the 54th minute. Oh, uh, sorry, in the 45th minute, but uh, that wasn't that didn't really affect the game. Come then, result they then scored in the 66th minute and went on to win it. Uh, so moving on into these last two games now against uh, Tianjin, we lost. Uh, I was just figuring out where they were in the league. They're fourth in the league, so you know, a pretty good team still. But we lost three-two to them. Uh, as you can see, though, it was pretty much a game they'd already won in the 64th minute. You know, just after the hour mark, they were three-nil up. That was game over. We did try and have some sort of late. Fight back and come back. But when you concede three goals, it's going to be hard for you to get anything out of the game. And we need to learn from that lesson. And hopefully we can, again, reach a bit of form where we can turn it around. We just lost recently to Jing Su, 1-0. But coming up, we've got Beijing, who are in 11th. We've got Changchun, who are in 10th. We've got Yongchang, who are in 15th. Uh, before we then go to Rene and also have a friendly against our affiliate team from Turkey. So these next three games are very important for me and I think will be very important on the season as well as my job security. Uh, if we lose them three games, we could find ourselves at the bottom of the table with quite a points gap separating us and the teams above us or at least the teams out of the relegation zone. So these, three ne these next three games are going to be games when I have to pick up results. Beijing at home as well will be massive. You know, we've got to start it there. We've got to start it with a good result in that match and then push forward. And uh, go away from home, which will, of course, be tough. And hopefully use them home games as, you know, as, as positives. You know, we've, it's been, like I said, it's been a tragic season. Apart from this little spell here, where, you know, we picked, we went on a five-game streak without a, without a defeat. It's been pretty dire. And in fact, apart from this streak, we've only won one other game. So that's got to turn around. We've got to start picking up points more consistently. And picking up wins more consistently, I should say. Because we would have picked up points, you know, at least every game or so or every two games or so but it's the wins that obviously keep you up and it's the wins that push you up the table and that's what needs to be done i spoke about um job security as you can see it's currently very insecure that's not good and of course the only thing that is affecting that is the league i said i'd get mid table we're currently at bottom of it so that's that's not what the board expected uh, and that's why i say these next three games are massive if we lose them it could be my job and I don't really want to get sacked from Wuhan. I, I said I wanted to achieve um, winning a league title with them. And I still stand by that. I still do want to win a league title. And hopefully, you know, if... Basically, I want to turn it around. In this second half of the season, I want to turn it around. Uh, we've got, a t a, I believe, a different tactic. No, it's the same tactic. I, is it? I can't remember the tactic I showed you last time. I think I've tinkered it and stuff. I have sort of changed around the tactic and looked to try and adapt it and stuff. Um... But yeah, hopefully, you know, I've got, something's got to start turning around. Something's got to give and we've got to start getting points on the table. And it's not even like everyone's playing badly. I mean, look at Long, Yeoman Key and um, Igor Serena. Look at their average ratings, even our goalkeeper. You know, we, we've got some good average ratings in the team. I'm going to highlight uh, Jin Yang. Uh, I'm going to highlight uh, Chong Kui. You know, these are very good average rating. It's just the defense, the whole of the defense is not playing well. And the striker, we need a striker so badly because Yo Man Key is doing it. Long is trying to score a few goals. Our, our right back has scored a few penalties this season, but we need an out and out goal scorer. And that's what Leon Best needs to provide. He's just coming back. As you can see, he's been struggling in the previous few games, but I'm hoping these three games coming up against three relatively small teams can put him under I put him back in goal scoring form because, of course, at the start of the year, he was actually scoring quite a few goals. In fact, he scored a goal in all three of his games he played in at the start of the season up until the one he got injured. So, you know, even even so far since coming back, you know, he's scored three goals in five games, which isn't the worst record. But his performances all round need to improve as well because, he's, you know, his goals to game ratio is actually pretty good. He's a he's a you know, what he contributes to the game, though, is, is not as good. 
And he's the target man. He's meant to be leading the line. And he is meant to be one of our best players in the team. So the fact that he isn't performing, it's really troubling. You know, it's really worrying because he's taken up a foreigner spot as well. But I want to stand by and I'm hoping that he'll turn it around. I really do. Because I do think, just like I said, despite the fact other people are performing well, I think without Leon Best scoring goals, we we might struggle and I might get re- I may get sacked and this club may get relegated. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully, like I said, hopefully it doesn't happen. I do still want to be here. And I want to I want to get that over to you guys. You know, it's not like I'm bombing the table and I'm giving up here. Um, you know, with Abar, it, it was it was tragic, and I got relegated. And I dead. There wasn't really much fight from me in a way. I don't I don't know if that, that showed across on you, but at times I felt with Abar, it was just an um, impossible task. You know, I, I felt that I couldn't really do anything. There was no point. But with Wuhan, it's it's not like that. I feel that you know, I proved last year that this club can play well, and even this year, you know, we've proved that spells in that one spell we can play well. We've drew to Guangzhou. You know, that's that in itself shows that this club's got a, a desire about them. And I think maybe it's the tactic. I don't know. Maybe I do need to change a few things around. But I do also think the players need to start playing a little bit better. We have got one guy coming back. Um, As Anis, oh no, Anis uh, Bani Yassin, he's already back. Sorry, I thought he, no, no, he he was injured. I think um, he's been injured. Uh, no, he hasn't been injured. Sorry, my bad. I'm I'm thinking of something else. I thought he was he'd, he'd been injured recently. I I don't know what I'm thinking of right now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's. I guess my fingers are crossed right now. We need a, I think, a little bit of luck, and hopefully we'll stay up. So yeah, I think this is going to be it for now, guys. Uh, I don't really know what else I can really cover. Uh, financially, I guess we'll talk about it. We're screwed. We're fucked. We, you know, there's no, there's no denying that. There's no getting around that. Uh, so even if we do manage to stay here and keep these guys up, I don't know what good that's going to do because financially we will still be all over the place. And despite being in you know the best division we can possibly be in this country, it's still not enough to support us financially. So God knows what this club's going to do in the future. But yeah. Uh, this will be it for now, guys. Next time I'll meet you back will hopefully be the end of season. I think I'll meet you back. Uh, if we get sacked before then, of course, I'll have to do an update before then. Uh, but yeah, hope, again, fingers crossed we can turn this around because I'm confident that we can. You know, I'm confident even if you look at our goal difference, the fact that our goal difference is minus two, I think should tell you something about how well we play. You know, we don't we score about as many as we concede. We're just not lucky with the results. We just don't get the goals in the right games and <laughs> things like that. But yeah, until next time, guys. Peace out.